Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? The newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Go! <laughs> anything? Great. Now we can make it across.
right side! The rings likely chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I need to do better. Rigs come to me. I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need I need it. It's very old wrong. It's bad! You're on fire, Kratos! It will pass! Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. <laughs> There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Go! <laughs> <laughs> 
coming! I love you! Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Hmm? The dwarves survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Dragon sculpture is not bad. Not 
the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. Amir, what do you think it means? Seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aether God? And it was Starcather the Mighty, the Yotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, and sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, groom near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin. Murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next Enough. Thing you... We will continue later. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. Here? 
That's the key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Give that drum a good loud strike. I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deed with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... Oh. could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri.
Whoa, nice. 